morning and welcome to another episode of GSC at Home's Powering the Future Week. My name is Abby and today we are going to be learning about how we can generate energy using water and then make our very own water wheel. We can generate electricity in many different ways. We can use wind energy, tidal energy, solar energy, nuclear power and fossil fuels including coal, oil and gas. The wind, waves and the sun are all examples of renewable energy sources and they will always be available. On the other hand, nuclear power and fossil fuels are examples of non-renewable energy sources and one day they will run out. So why do we need energy? So we need energy to power our homes and businesses from supermarkets to cinemas and swimming pools. In the UK, we use a mixture of renewable and non-renewable energy sources. One example of a renewable energy source is a hydroelectric power station. Hydroelectric power stations use large bodies of water called reservoirs to generate electricity. The main components of a hydroelectric power station are the reservoir, a dam, a control gate, turbines and a generator. The dam is used to create the reservoir and prevent water from flowing downhill until the control gate is opened. Then water rushes downhill and through the turbines, rotating them and generating electricity. The water in the reservoir has potential energy. As it flows downhill through the turbines, potential energy is transferred into kinetic or movement energy. Kinetic energy is then transferred into electrical energy using a generator. The higher the reservoir is positioned relative to the turbine, the more energy produced. The biggest hydroelectric power station in Scotland is the Cruachan power station. The turbines are located inside Ben Cruachan and the water flows all the way from the Cruachan reservoir to Loch Awe, 395 metres below. So now we are going to build our very own water wheel, not nearly as big, but just as amazing. For this, you are going to need a few things. For this experiment, you will need a large bowl, a jug of water, paper towels, card, two paper plates, six plastic bottle caps, two plastic rulers, a skewer, sellotape, all-purpose glue, reusable tack or plasticine, and scissors. Before you begin, please ask an adult to help you. Once you have collected these items and asked an adult to help you, you are ready to start. So we're going to start with our paper plates. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the rim off our paper plates so we're left with a nice flat disc. Now here are two that I cut out earlier. Next thing we're going to do is glue our plastic bottle caps onto the edge of one of the wheels. So we're going to attach them just like that. When you're doing this, try and make sure that you are leaving an even space between each of your bottle caps. Okay, we're just going to let that dry and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we are going to add our second wheel on top. Just like that. So we'll let that dry for about 10 minutes and then come back. Meanwhile, we can make the rest of our water wheel and for that we're going to need our piece of card, one of our rulers, and a pencil. So what we're going to do is cut two long rectangular strips of card about the width of our ruler. And then cut them out. So now what we're going to do is roll up our rectangles we can use pencil or pens to help us. And we're going to secure it with some sellotape. There, 
one. And there's two. So now what we're going to do is assemble our wheel. So now we are ready to assemble our water wheel. So we have our two paper plates with our bottle caps glued in between from earlier. The glue should be nice and dry now. We need two plastic rulers, a large bowl, our two cylinders that we made earlier, a skewer, and some reusable tack or plasticine will work just as well. So the first thing we're going to do is attach our rulers to our bowl using our tack or plasticine. Just like that. And then for the other one, leaving a space in between for our wheel to go. Awesome. So now we need to pierce a hole through our wheel. I've done this already using my skewer. If you're doing this at home, please ask an adult to help you. So we're going to pop our skewer all the way through our wheel, then pop one cylinder on each side of our skewer and pop them on the rulers. Then we're going to sellotape down each of our cylinders. Now where you see our wheel is starting to turn. Amazing. A little bit wonky, but we're all good. So let's test our water wheel. To test our water wheel, we are going to need a jug of water. So we're going to pour our water on the top of one of the caps to start it turning. Here we go. Excellent. can get a little bit messy. So what's happening here? So the water in the jug had potential energy. It had the potential to go somewhere and do something, but for the time being, it was just chilling out in the jug, waiting for something to happen. When it was poured over the wheel, the movement of the water turned the wheel. That potential energy was transferred into kinetic or movement energy, just like in a hydroelectric power station. Thank you so much for joining me today on GSC at Home. I hope you had fun making your water wheel and finding out how it works. If you have a question or you would like to share your science experiment with us, please leave a comment below or tag us on social media using hashtag GSC at Home. That's it from me today, but tune in again at 10am every weekday for your daily dose of science.